Good afternoon. So today is Wednesday and I'm taking my lunch break. So today I wanted to talk about pocket change. Uh, yesterday I was on my way to sewing class and I was like, okay, well I'll stop at Taco Bell because I know I can get the deal number one, which is a chicken burrito, a bag of chips, and a drink for like three bucks. So I go through the drive through order my meal, you know, went to grab my wallet because remember I told you um, yesterday that I had um, still money in my pocket from bagging phone books. I had earned $24 on Monday um, from bagging phone books. So I was like, okay, I've got some cash. I can spend three bucks for my taco meal. Go to reach down to grab my wallet. Guess what? I left my wallet at work. <laughs> so no three dollar uh, chicken burrito meal for me. And so I was like, oh my goodness, what am I going to do? Because I'm going to sewing class. You know, work is like half an hour away by now. I work in a different city. And I was like, oh my goodness. And I'm diabetic, so I know I need to eat because otherwise I'm going to get lightheaded and not feel well. And so I'm starting to panic. I'm like, okay. So I drive towards my sewing class and I stop um, at a gas station because I found some change in the car, like a dollar and something. Go in there and like the hot dogs are like a dollar eighty. I'm like, what? You know, can I just get a hot dog for a dollar? So I was like, okay, well, let me drive down the street some more. So I ended up at 7 Eleven because I know they have. Uh, slices of pizza for a dollar and I was like well if all else fails I know I have a dollar in my pocket and some change at least I can get a dollar a uh, slice of pizza so I get to 7-eleven and I'm digging through my car I look in the um, cubby holes I look on the floor you know I'm going down on the carpet make sure I get everything you know any loose change I come up with about a dollar 81 I think it was so I go into 7-Eleven, I get my slice of pizza, and I even get a banana, because, you know, I'm like, okay, well, I should eat something healthy. <laughs> so this nice big banana, maybe that'll fill me up and last for the night. And the total came to $1.84, and I had $1.81. And I was like, please, do you have three cents I can use? <laughs> so luckily, you know, some, um, she did have an extra three cents. So I was able to eat my slice of pizza and banana and make it through sewing class uh, successfully. <sighs> so sewing class, um, it was my second night of sewing class. And I want to encourage everybody, as we're changing and growing and learning new things, um, being challenged feels scary. Um, so to um, last night, we... Um, had bought our sewing patterns and it was time to open them and I just felt so nervous opening the sewing pattern because it's like this very delicate tissue and you know I was like what if I rip it what if I mess up you know what if I cut it wrong and I felt like I was back in kindergarten you know like when have I ever been afraid of cutting a piece of paper but I just felt so like anxious that I wanted to do a good job and I wanted to get it right because it was very important to me so um and we pick out our fabrics and I'm um, going to be making a bag um, with some really pretty fabric that I had got in Nigeria when we had visited my husband's family. So I'm really excited to finally be using all this beautiful African fabric that I have. Uh, so that was fun. It was challenging. Um, I learned how to press my fabric, uh, lay out the tissue patterns, cut the patterns out. Um, pin it to the cloth, which was, you know, I'm like, well, which way do I put the pins, you know, am I going to do it right? So that went really well. And um, I listened to the new Tony Robbins CD that I got in the mail, so that's really helping as well. And some of the ideas that he's talking about is not only do we have to figure out, you know, how to increase our money or increase our income, but the real wealth lies in you know, our mission and our significance in life and just our whole overall being. So if we could have like a lot of money but maybe we're unhealthy or you know, we're not happy or our relationships are failing, the key is to finding that balance. And one of um, the things he was emphasizing is to have this uh, attitude of gratitude. I know we all hear it, you know, be thankful, but to really each day wake up and just say thank you. Thank you that I woke up. 
thank you that I was in a bed and thank you that I have housing and even though everyone's situation is different um, there's always things to be thankful for because if we go through the day always feeling lacking always feeling not enough of scarcity of poverty um, then that's the kind of thing that will just keep perpetuating and it is very hard because oftentimes like oh if I only had this if I only had this much money if I only had family if I only had um, the support network like this person has or you know we always look and kind of are envious of other people and we see their success and we're like oh well they had the upper hand but that's not the case you know we have to look at those people and say why not me and be happy for them be happy when you see people on Facebook that have good relationships instead of saying oh well you know my relationship isn't working why is everybody so happy um, you know and don't feel that lack just be joyful so if you're struggling and going through something if you see someone that has what you want you know just you know kind of in your mind say you know give give them good positive feedback say wow I'm really happy for that person it's really great that that's working out for them because they have other struggles you know we look at people on Facebook and it's like oh they just have the great life everybody has struggles and once we understand that that we're all in this game together and we all have to figure out you know how to overcome our own personal obstacles then you know we're gonna just take off we're gonna you know be successful so I've been really happy these past couple of days like I told you over the past over the weekend I was very depressed didn't want to get out of bed um, and you know those those are the challenging moments but it's in joy and in hope that I move forward and I'm so happy that I'm here that I'm happy that I have a job I'm training a new office assistant and this is um, something new because just two years ago I had been fired from my job I had gone through unemployment it was very difficult um, having to go to food pantries just to find food you know being on food stamps um, and now I'm in a position where I'm an executive administrator for my company and I'm in charge of interviewing and hiring and training new employees you know so this is you know a growth so pocket change sometimes you know we are at the bottom and but I was thankful that I was able to have that dollar and 81 cents I was able to eat you know, I wasn't, you know, I didn't pass out, didn't have a diabetic attack or anything like that. And I was able to have a successful night learning a new skill in sewing. Um, so even though, you know, otherwise you could have been stressed and depressed, like, oh man, like, I don't even have money to eat, or, you know, I'm all alone. No, there's always something to be thankful for. And I thank you for listening. Um, find me on Facebook. Become a friend. You know, let's start a conversation. Let me know what you're going through and what you're learning. Um, so I'll continue to listen to the Tony Robbins CD and give you feedback on that. There was a DVD that came with the set. Um, like I told you, I'm working through War on Debt. And um, I'm going to start another book soon. So once I start reading that, I'll post um, some information on that as well. <laughs> so thank you so much. Um, have a great day. Don't give up. Each moment, be thankful. Just be thankful that you're here and you're going to have a good day. Bye.